Welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Sometimes we've got to make the best of a bad situation with our bonsai trees. This tree that I collected earlier this year, it didn't really make it, so let's go with plan B. I collected this tree in March. It's got a really nice taper, it's got some good branching, and I thought it had some good potential. It did initially push out some really nice branches with one in particular, one really good branch. And I think a pigeon or a cat snapped it off. And after that main branch fell off, nothing else really happened. Uh, so it's a question of what to do with the tree. Five minutes ago, I used, my, I used my convex cutters to remove a piece of bark to just check that there's no life left in this trunk. If there was life, there would be green in there but this is dead, so nothing's ever going to regrow from this trunk. I've shown you this tree in the past. This is one of my favorite old oaks that I'm growing in the raft style. And I'm just quickly showing you this to, uh, as a bit of inspiration for what I'm going to try with that dead tree. At the base of this tree, we can see the old trunk or where the old trunk used to be. I cut that down about, it was about five or six years ago. It started to callus over around here but the suckers that it's sent up have turned into the new trunks and I really like this style of tree. All around the base of the trunk, it's sending out all these new suckers, with nice branches, and hopefully these might themselves turn into new trunks. So what I'm thinking is, if I can cut this off with a saw, maybe carve it down a bit, I will get a similar kind of effect. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. This branch here seems to be the highest one. The rest of them are coming down from kind of base level. So I think I'll start just above that. Wow. This is super blunt, this saw. I use this saw for collecting Yamadori. So I'm often like digging in the soil with it and it's cut through loads of soil and stones and all kinds of stuff over the last couple well over the last couple of collecting seasons that is just really struggling uh, i can't do that i've got to get a sharper saw i've got my what's this draper venom this is like a quite a fast cutting joiner's saw this should do the job i think i need to hold these down out of the way with something first so i could do with like a flat rock or something or a piece of tile just to hold them down mm. rock there that'll do and another rock here hey they were handy that wasn't planned either so i'm just holding down those leaves and then I can get a decent cut. There we go, come on. Oh, lovely. And I'll take the rocks off. I think they did a good job of uh, protecting these suckers. Yeah, they're, they're fine. They're not snapped or damaged at all. That's gone really well. I think what I need to do now though with this is use my hybrid cutters to try to remove some of that looking down on this now I think I can hopefully remove some of this with my cutters like this I think ideally a power tool would work really well for this but I've not got like a, 
a die grinder or anything like that. I'm definitely going to get one. I'm going to ask Father Christmas uh, to see if he'll bring me one for Christmas. So at the moment, all I'm doing is just just cutting pieces off around the edge, just to remove that, reduce the height of the stump. I don't want to completely take this all the way down. But I do definitely want to reduce it. This seems quite a good way of doing it as well. You might have noticed that I've not been putting too many videos out recently. And the reason is, I'm running out of trees to work on. <laughs> I look at them and there's just, there's just nothing really to do at this time of year. Because they're not mature, advanced trees that need pruning and stuff, a lot of them are just being allowed to grow on. And so there's, there's only limited kind of work for me to do. Anyway, I found this one, which, which I felt did need a bit of something doing or would allow me to have a play. I've kind of got the edge now to where I want it. But what I want to do is I want to hollow that section down to allow hopefully this to callus over in the future. So I'm going to try to cut cut into the center. But that's not bad actually. That's a nice smooth kind of finish at the top. It will have chance to callus over in the coming years. And with it not being a saw cut, it does at least have a slightly more natural look, I think. Well, that's okay there. I'm happy with that. From here, you can see we have maintained that nice edge of bark, all apart from just one place, which is just around this back edge. So I will try and cut that back to some nice clean fresh bark there which I have done so that now has got a nice rim of undamaged bark around the edge and I'll apply oh, I'll apply the cut paste all around the edge just to keep the bark nice and moist And while I'm at it, I'll just coat some all over the top as well. But the main the main part is that, that bit round the edge. That's the bit that's doing the work really. Let's pick some crap on it there. Lovely. So that's a nice little job done. This dead piece of wood, that's gone. And I've got a new potential clump style oak, which who knows? If you want to see how this progresses over the coming years, you know what to do, hit subscribe. But apart from that, as always, thanks for joining me and have a great day. See you soon.